Hi folks and uh, welcome to another painting table update and uh, as you can see in front of you um, some more late Romans or Romano Britons and uh, this is what I've mainly been working on uh, over the period. These are all um, Pendragon miniatures, lovely uh, little sculpts, lots of uh, detail so it makes life so much easier painting this scale. Um, as close I can get Fortunately, the light's not fantastic, but uh, yeah, it gets the rough idea what they look like. Um, as I say, I've uh, managed to finish another unit. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get in there. Let's go with the wintry theme again. So if I bring back to uh, the, the second, or I say the first unit I've done. So this, uh, as I say, at the moment I'm going to be using these four uh, one-hour wargaming rules. Um, but it um, gives you a rough idea that uh, once I eventually get around to writing my rules, that those will be two uh, large units. Um, I've also got another command unit and another command unit. I couldn't find uh, <laughs> the, that sort of style uh, flags or standards, so I ended up finding something from my uh, old collection of uh, ten mil Romans, which are also Pendragon as well. Uh, managed to steal one of those. So uh, basically, this means now that I can um, put together four. Oops, spin them around. I can now have uh, four medium-sized units as well which this is what I'm going to use as a unit in uh, the one hour wargaming rules as well so uh, I've got enough infantry now to um, do uh, the Romans the Roman or the uh, Romano Britain side um, the original hero that I painted up and I've also managed to get uh, couple more bring the light in a bit more perhaps no no that just reflects off it <laughs> that's my uh, painting daylight bulb um yeah so i've managed to get a two more hero bases painted up and i had a couple of spare guys left over as well so um I painted them up as well, just didn't want them languishing in the bottom of the box somewhere. Um, so yeah, so that's all I need for the uh, infantry at the moment, um, apart from skirmishers, which um, I've started work on now. These again, Pendragon miniatures, uh, these slingers, uh, I'm going to do six miniatures to a base, uh, so that lot will be one base, and the bases will be the same size as the uh, regular infantry so yeah i'm going to paint up a few of those i think i've got enough for about four bases so again i'll do two bases to a unit for uh, when i'm playing one hour wargaming in my rules there's only going to be one base per unit because skirmishes are classed as a small unit so uh, that and uh, obviously coming to the cavalry <laughs> once again pendragon miniatures uh, i'm going to be um working on uh, some cavalry soon as well I've got these cleaned up and um, undercoated and um, yeah so there's gonna be four of those to a base as well so um, once again same size bases um, so that'll be one yes yeah, so there'll be four cavalry miniatures to a base two bases to a unit if it's a medium size and one base if it's a small size cavalry can only have medium or small size units in the rules but in the one hour wargaming we're gonna have two bases so um yeah that's a little bit of a catch up on uh, the painting table uh, i'm just going to pause the video now and come back with uh, something else and back again and uh yeah the uh climb the lead mountain continues um if you remember these guys these are the guys i was uh, going to paint up um for the first part of the challenge and uh, yep 
I've actually managed to complete them. Apologies for the light, they're just absolutely atrocious at the moment. Um, and uh, but yes, I managed to paint these guys up. They're uh, 95th rifles and uh, based individually. I'm going to use them as a skirmish game. I wonder if I can bring them a little bit closer. Um, yeah, the light's just making them look really shiny. Um, they're not really shiny, <laughs> just that the, the light's bouncing off them really well. But yeah, I mean, I've got them painted up and basted. They're, they're not uh, going to win any painting competitions, but they are painted and out of the lead pile. So, uh, yep, so up, in keeping with the challenge, uh, I'm going to pick my next um, group of figures and... Uh, I found these guys languishing in the bottom of a box somewhere. Um, these are, I think they're Warlord Games, uh, French Voltigeur set, uh, six of them. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to paint these guys up this month and hopefully, like I did this, uh, like I did this month, at the end of next month, I'll uh, have them finished. Um, nice sculpts, I must admit. They're, they're, what you call it? Perfectly, yeah. Uh, nicely detailed so they should paint up really well as I say I'm not going to go crazy I'm not going to paint them to a sort of a, an incredible standard just going to paint them up and uh, get them finished for this month's I'm going to base them individually as well paint them up for this month's uh, painting challenge one thing I did find this guy here <laughs> I can't find his arm anywhere so uh, yeah I'm going to have to see what I can find in my uh, box of plastic bits and pieces to finish him off but there you go so yeah that's going to be the challenge for um the uh, next painting for this month um as always thanks for taking the time to uh watch my videos any questions or queries uh leave them in the comments and i will get back to you and uh only leaves me as always to say take care everyone and uh, bye for now